Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to day 29 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. We've been looking at Lead Accelerator with regards to Facebook and Instagram ads, and today we're going to switch just slightly. We're going to stay in Lead Accelerator, however, we're going to look at Twitter ads and what those can do for us. So again, to get into the Lead Accelerator, we just click on the little megaphone here, and then we're going to create a new campaign. This time we're gonna select Twitter ads and let's just call our marketing campaign Twitter test one for today. And we're gonna go through and decide on how long we want our schedule to run and what our budget is total with regards to total budget and then budget per day, obviously. Um, we wanna advertise a new listing. Let's click on that. You could select any one of those options and then configure our campaign. First thing we wanna do, we wanna select a listing so uh, we've been using the 811 Wax Myrtle, the townhome listing that I have. Let's wait for that to come up and we'll get that one tied to the actual campaign. And that might take a second or two. Let's see if it works again this time. There we go. So we'll select the Wax Myrtle. That actually shows the listing that we have. We're gonna come down now again with Instagram and Facebook. It was splitting it between the two. Twitter is one separate ad campaign. So all $25 are going into Twitter. Down here, we'll select our profile. If we have more than one Twitter profile, we wanna make sure we select the correct one. Next, we're gonna choose the image that we want to utilize. So I think we're gonna go with this one. On Twitter, it's generally speaking, only one image we can utilize. And we also have to make sure it matches the uh, Twitter crop, which is 1.91 to one on the horizontal scale. So we'll crop that image. Next, we wanna come down to enter a headline. We only have 70 characters there. So let's say one, uh, let's say updated one bedroom, one bathroom, town home for sale. And we'll do 125,000. I know you guys saw my typing yesterday and how bad that can be. And so I'm going to save you the time. I actually already typed it out and I'm going to paste it in there. So this beautiful Georgetown townhomes, first floor and unit features, wood tile floors, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, an updated master bathroom, refrigerator, washer, dryer, all stay. Located within walking distance of city center, make an appointment today. So you have your copy there. Again, you have 280 characters. I absolutely max that out. Um, the call to action link, I'm going to link that to the website that I have created. And we'll just copy and paste that in. Make sure I take out the double HTTPS there. Don't want that. And then we can get down into the basic ad targeting that Twitter allows any gender, male or female. I think it applies to any gender. With regards to age range, I think I'm probably in that, um, I don't know, 25 to 54 range, somewhere in there. So I'll select that one. You can choose any of those ages. And then what do you want them to do? Do you want as many people as possible to see it? Or do you want people to actually take action and click? I want them to click. So I'm gonna choose that option. And then if I were ready to go, my payment profile was set up, I could do save and activate. Or if I wanna just kind of review it and get my payment profile set up later, I could, I could save as draft. So we're gonna go ahead and save that campaign as a draft. So I have that available for later. That's the basics of Lead Accelerator and Twitter ads. So today's challenge is to go in, do a test Twitter ad, unless you have a listing that you're ready to promote, in which case do a real Twitter ad um, and find out kind of how that process works so you're familiar when the time comes. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful afternoon. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.